Hi, I'm Michael Josh, and you're watching Gadget Match. I know we've spent plenty of time talking about M2 and the new MacBook Airs, and also the upcoming version of iOS, but today I want to spend some time to talk about the new version of macOS, dubbed Ventura. It promises many new ways to be more productive on a Mac, but more importantly, it also enables all the Apple devices to work together more seamlessly. In this video, we've rounded up the best macOS Ventura features. Apple is redesigning the way you switch between opened windows so that you can work better with less distractions. Currently, you can do this with Mission Control by simply doing a four-finger swipe. macOS Ventura comes with a new feature called Stage Manager. You activate it from Control Center. From there, it automatically arranges the windows off to one side of your screen, leaving the app you're currently working on front and center. When you open another app from the dock, like Mail for example, it will pop open and move Safari to the left. If you switch back to Safari, it retakes the stage and Mail goes off to the side. You can also group apps together by dragging windows like so. If you have multiple windows of an app open, they are grouped into a pile and you can cycle through them by simply clicking. When you open another group, Stage Manager will stack the previous group to the side and keep the windows arranged the way you left them. Stage Manager also makes it easier to access files from your desktop while you're working on a project. As you can see in this example, you can easily select the files, drag them to a Final Cut window, and then drop them directly onto the timeline. One of my favorite macOS features is also getting an upgrade. Spotlight is a great way to search or simply launch an app. With the update, you can also now peek at a result with Quick Look. With macOS Ventura, Spotlight can also search photos from your library, Mac, or the web. Using live text, you can search for text inside images or start a timer or run a shortcut. When you do search, you also get richer results. Like if you say search for musicians, you'll see their albums, news articles, social media accounts, and images of them on the web. When you look up a TV show or movie, it will show you a short description, how you can watch it, its cast, and more. I can imagine this would also be great if you follow sports and sporting events like the upcoming World Cup. Before we continue, I wanna take a quick break to talk about something really exciting. I'm thrilled to be working with Omaze. It's a fundraising platform that gives people like you and me a chance to win a once in a lifetime prize. And in this video, we're partnering with them to give you a chance to win, wait for it, a Mercedes AMG G Wagon all while supporting a great cause. Simply go to omaze.com slash gadgetmatch, and from there, you can enter for your chance to win while supporting the nonprofit organization, Favored Nations. They're a social good platform that provides opportunities for Gen Z and millennials so they can learn about how they can create an impact in their communities. If I win, I am definitely going on weekend road trips with my friends all summer. Or maybe go on a longer road trip. I would love to drive to Maine and hike the trails of Acadia National Park, but I'm curious what would you do if you won the G-Wagon? Let me know in the comments section below. So again, for a chance to win a Mercedes AMG G-Wagon, go to omaze.com slash gadgetmatch and enter now. Your donations support the amazing work of favored nations. If you're like me and use the default mail app to manage your emails, you'll be thrilled to know that we'll be soon getting much needed updates as well. There's undo send so that you can recall an email you sent by mistake, schedule sending an email, suggestions to remind you to follow up if you haven't received a response, and remind me so that you can come back to an email at a particular date and time. Searching within the mail app is also going to be more intuitive. When you click search, you'll see recently shared documents and links, and you'll get suggestions as soon as you start typing, even when you make a typo. Planning a trip with friends and family can be a lot of work, and usually the burden really falls into the hands of one or two people. Apart from booking transportation and accommodations, sometimes you'll need to buy gear, book activities to fill in your itinerary, and more. So instead of bombarding your group chat with plenty of links, you can now instead 
share tab groups. Think of it as a built-in collaboration tool within Safari. From there, you can even make group FaceTime calls to make planning easier. Passwords are so 2021, and Apple wants to face them out completely to make browsing more secure. Say hello to pass keys. Instead of a password, it uses Touch ID or Face ID to authenticate when you're logging in to apps or websites. Passkey will create a unique digital key that will only work with that particular website or service that you've signed up for, meaning you're not going to ever get hacked, since it's not something that you type or share with anyone. And I know we're talking about Mac OS features, but this will also work on any Windows device. You can also use pass keys to log in by scanning a code using your iPhone. Two years into the pandemic, and I'm sure all of us are video conferencing pros, and we can answer a call or join a call from just about anywhere. But there are some limits to it. So say I decided to join a FaceTime call while on my walk, and then I get home and realize I think I should take it on a bigger screen. With macOS Ventura, no need to disconnect and reconnect from another device my Mac is now smart enough to automatically recognize that I'm on a call when I get to my desk, so I can seamlessly switch over to my Mac. This will also work the other way around too, so you can switch from your Mac to an iPhone and so, of course, the iPad. If you own an iPhone and a Mac and work remotely, I'm sure you're going to love this next feature. Even while FaceTime cameras on Macs are getting better, there's nothing quite like the camera on your iPhone. And soon, you'll be able to use your iPhone's camera as a webcam, which means better quality, higher resolution video calls. You know all those bells and whistles of an iPhone camera like a larger sensor, better low light performance, and HDR? Soon, you'll be able to make the most of all of these features features while on a video call. With this feature, center stage is coming to the Mac 2 as well as portrait mode in case you have a background that you don't want to show. There's also studio light which brightens your face and darkens the background. As a creator who often gets asked to demo something all the time, there's also a new feature that lets me show what's on my desk during calls. Almost like a top-down shot on an unboxing video. To achieve that on an unboxing video requires an elaborate two-camera setup, but on the Mac, all you need is to use one of these stands from Belkin. And with desk view, I can use the rear and front cameras on my iPhone at the same time. Apple says all of these accessories will be available sometime this year. Mac OS Ventura will roll out later this fall with a public beta coming in July. That's next month. And I'm curious, which of these new features are you most excited about? And what do you think of the new name? Let me know in the comments section below. And as always, make sure you're subscribed to this YouTube channel. We have a lot of awesome videos coming your way. Make sure you hit that notification bell so that you get notified as soon as we publish. Follow me on social media for all the behind the scenes fun stuff. And as always, for news and updates, make gadgetmatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.